In this question, uh, first we've got this function we're going to work with, f of x equals x cubed minus 8x and so on. And we're going to find f of 7, so that's nice and easy. Let's just do that. So we're going to do f of 7 will equal 7 cubed minus 8 times 7 squared minus 5 times 7 plus 84. And we could do that on our calculator if we wanted. So we can do 7 to the power of 3 plus, sorry, minus 8 times 7, not square rooted, squared, minus 5 times 7 plus 84. And it gives us naught. So f of 7 equals naught. So if f of 7 equals naught, then for by the factor theorem, we must have x minus 7 is a factor. So therefore f of x is going to equal x minus 7 times something to get x cubed and all that business. So we need to times x by x squared to get the x cubed and we need to times minus 7 by minus 12 to get the plus 84. So what do we need to do in here? Well we need to get some x squared. We need to get minus 8 of them. we have got minus 7 times x squared is minus 7x squared. So we need another minus x squared so if we do minus x times x we get minus x squared let's just check this all works for the x's so we get a plus 7x minus 12x will also give us 5 minus 5x and let's factorize this further so this is going to be x minus 4x plus 3 so um, we want to find, so we've done that, we've factorised fully. We want to find the remainder when f of x is divided by 2x minus 1. Now, if this was exact, uh, sorry, factor, then f of a half would give us 0. Um, and if it's um, not a factor, then f of a half gives us the remainder. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the remainder theorem to find out f of a half. So we do a half cubed minus 8 times a half squared minus 5 times a half plus 84. We'll grab our calculator for this one. So we're going to do 0 0.5 to the power of 3 minus 8 times 0 0.25 minus uh, 2.5. That's a half of 5 plus 84. And that gives us all of that, 6, 3, 7 over 8. And we want to sketch the graph of y equals f of x without the aid of technology. So what we know is that it's going to cross at 7, 4 and minus 3. So, and we know it's a cubic, so a cubic will do that. Okay. Um, because the x cubed is positive, we know it's going to start in the negative and it's going to move up into the first quadrant. So we're going to go from third quadrant to first quadrant. We know it's going to cross here at minus 3. We know it's going to cross here at 4. And it's going to cross here at 7. And we know the intercept is when the x equals 0. So we know it's going to cross here at 84. And that's how we can just sketch this little curve. Make that x and make that why? So do remember, the key thing to this question is actually a lot of students will divide this out rather than using the remainder theorem, which is much, much quicker and much easier and less likely to make mistakes.